Did you manage to bring everything up with you? That's good. I don't know why, but I always imagined a painter would have more things. I don't know. I guess a painter's job always seemed clunky to me. The different pigments and the canvas itself. I mean, even with something to put it in, a means of transporting it all. In my imagination, it just seems like a hassle to carry it all around with you. Though, obviously, you show me that that is far from the truth. From what I can hear, you've hardly struggled. I don't hear anything clattering about. Your footsteps are the same as they usually are. Though, you always seem to do everything with poise. I don't know why I thought this would be any different. No, it's true. I would know. I am very much the opposite of someone like you. I think we are opposite. At least in a way. Other than the obvious. You're so... Hmm... What's a good word for it? Enigmatic. Otherworldly. Like... The world hasn't yet condensed you into the more admissible version of yourself. <laughs> By that, I mean everyone sort of chips away at the person they really are just to find their place in the world. There's always wear and tear. Sometimes pieces are patched and attempt to be made anew. A return of what we once were, but it's never the same. But you're different. It's like you're still pristine. Comfortable as you. <laughs> Sorry. That's such a strange thing to say out of the blue. Don't you think? No. <laughs> oh, don't say that. I haven't said anything that special. I just spend too much time thinking. Thinking myself into delusions, very likely. Uh, so, all I have to do is sit? But, sit how? Should I not be posed a certain way, or do something... I don't know. Interesting? I need to be in my element. Okay, but what if me in my element looks bad at painting? <laughs> oh, well, I don't know what I look like just sitting here. Maybe all the nights I've sat here, I've looked silly the entire time. You wouldn't want to immortalize some silly girl in your painting when you could be spending your time painting something actually interesting. Uh, oh. You think I'm interesting? Okay. Uh, I'm glad. So, this is truly fine? Just sitting as I usually do every night? All right then, uh, feel free to let me know if I'm doing something wrong or if you need me to adjust. Hmm? Uh, oh. Sorry. I'll stop fidgeting. I'm just a bit nervous. Uh, well, no, that's a lie. I am very nervous. Because I want to help you, but 
I don't really know how to do that, which just makes me even more nervous. <sighs> Gods, I'm so sorry. I'm so hopeless tonight. I, I don't know what's going on with me. I'll try my best to relax. If it doesn't bother you, could we talk while you paint? I imagine a distraction would help me not be so self-conscious. Oh, thank goodness. So, what to talk about? Um, oh, I know. Um, have you tried anything from Mr. Aridi's bakery? You have? What's your opinion on them? Are they good, or do you have superior bakers back where you're from? <laughs> I'm not asking for an expert opinion. I'm asking for yours. Huh. As good as good can be? That's it? <laughs> no, there's not a problem with your answer. It's just a bit funny. Because you're a man of so few words. You're always so neutral when it comes to your opinions, except when it comes to artwork. Some people might think that's a bad thing, but I don't. You're just true to yourself. Blunt, apathetic to a degree, but you're clearly passionate when it comes to things important to you. Like art. And I'm sure there's more things you care about that way, but I just don't know it yet. Maybe if we spend more time together, you'll feel comfortable enough confiding in me what those things might be. N not that you have to, I just... I just know you originally started wandering to search for inspiration, and once you find it, you'll probably want to go back home. But if you decide to stay in the village longer, I'll always have time for you. Just so you know. I think you're interesting. You're unlike anyone I've ever ever met before, which isn't saying much because I live in a town like this, but it still stands. It's more than just the art. You live your life differently than most people, like me. And I like that. I do. Sometimes when I'm alone, I think about you. Think about the little bits and pieces you've told me of your ventures. Truly, I have been captivated. <sighs> I wish I could be free like you. See the world as you see it. <laughs> you wish to be free like me? There's no way. No one wants to be like me. People pray to the gods that they never end up like me. People have told me to my face that they prayed to the gods above to never give them a child like me. Broken like me. <sighs> the nerve of people to say such things. <laughs> oh, I'm fine. Used to it now, as depressing as that sounds. In a twisted way, it only makes me want to live out my life more fully. Show them that just because I must accommodate for the lack of one's sense doesn't mean that my life is forfeit. Some moments are sad. Others are difficult. But what life is not marred by similar struggle? There is still much joy and happiness to be found. I am happy now, for example. But wanting to be free like me, what does that mean for you? 
Too much pressure? What do you mean by that? Back home, there's too much pressure on you to maintain your abilities? What are you, some sort of painting prodigy? Does your family force you to do this? It's your responsibility. Do you paint portraits of important people or something? I never thought painting was so serious. You know, someday you're going to have to be less vague about your past. Or else I'll just have to make up my own strange backstory for you with the little scraps of knowledge you scatter around for me. Sometimes I feel like a curious kitten, always swatting at a dangling bit of brush hoping that finally I'll capture that one little piece that'll unravel the mystery of your past. But I never do. There's only ever more and more questions. <laughs> it's fine. Your mysteries have always been a part of your appeal. Speaking of mysteries, how do you even paint in the dark? Surely even with the light of the moon, you cannot see clearly in this darkness. You didn't even bring a lamp of some sort with you. Take your hand? What for? <laughs> You're being so strange tonight. You want to see what I see. How is one supposed to do that through hand-holding? <laughs> Fine. It isn't like it hurts anything. Hopefully my hands aren't cold to the touch. Here. So, what do you see? <gasps> How did you... I mean, I told you of the little bit I can see, but you described tonight so perfectly, I, I don't understand. <sighs> You're right. Uh, that has to be it. The stars have seldom changed as of late. Even I can tell. Almost as if their light is bleeding away. It's sad, in a way. They say the god Leto paints the stars each night. The sky, his canvas, decorating his mother's beautiful night. Why do you think the stars cry now? Is the god sad? Angry? Perhaps mortal kind has offended him somehow. Well, other gods have taken out such punishments on us. I know sailors navigate by the stars. If they were to fade, would not those men be lost? Perhaps a punishment from Leto de Pelagios. A fight between gods that we just don't understand yet. <laughs> Just because Leto has never punished us before doesn't mean he can't now. The gods are much like us. Fickle. The only difference being that they have more power. The power to ruin us if they so choose. The power to take if they are angry with us. Revoke what has been given. I dare not say anything too divisive, or he might be listening. You're a painter. Do you have any specific insight into the divine of your domain? Well, I would imagine you have some form of devotion to the god of your craft. 
much like hunters who offer their hunts in the name of Theron in hopes of gaining his blessing. Or to Damali for fertile land, plentiful harvest. Maybe artists like you do something similar. <laughs> All right, it's a little far-fetched, but worth asking. Regardless, what do you think is going on? Come now. I told you my strange ponderings. Let me into your mind. Just a little. Huh. You really think it could be something so simple? An internal struggle? You really think the Divine can struggle in such a way? Well, yes, I did say the gods are like us, but most would find it taboo for us to question the capabilities of those above. Huh? You're finished? Already? That seemed rather fast. Um, did it come out good? Everything you wanted it to be? Something missing? What is it? My hand? Again? Oh no, I... You can't give the brush to me. I, I can't see. I'll ruin the piece. I don't want to put your work to waste. No, oh, I suppose if this is truly your vision, I'll relent. Just guide my hand well. Um, you've stilled. Is it good now? Or did I mess up? <laughs> it's perfect? Really, truly? I'm so glad. I was so worried I would mess it up or something, or it would end up being uninspiring or boring. Really? Me? A muse? <sighs> no. Uh, there's no way. You're just exaggerating. I'm... I'm not a muse or anything like that. No, you're not the type for fake flattery, but... How am I supposed to just accept something like that coming from you? If I just accept it, it makes everything feel too difficult. It makes me think about things I really shouldn't. It'll make me feel like I have a chance. And I don't want to go through the fall that comes after that. When I've left my delusions. And you've come to the next segment of your journey. <laughs> Sorry. It's all such strange things to say. I'm going to head home now. I was very, very happy to help you tonight. And I hope this is just the first step to returning to your full creative flow. If you're going to remain in town for a while, you already know where to find me. My routine never changes. Good night.